Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Dion Gandhi. And I'm Kylie Evangelista. Today is Tuesday, October 25th, and we are here with your daily announcements. Congratulations to our girls' varsity volleyball team for qualifying for the SAC, SAC Joaquin Section Division II playoffs today. Our team will go to Vista del Leglo High School to take on the Eagles. The game is going to be at 7 p.m., so don't be late. Also, congratulations to Sahara Bang, Kimberly Nguyen, Nina Yi, and Brianna Singh. All four of them are members of our golf team who qualify for a San Joaquin Section Golf Division Tournament. They will play at Timber Creek Golf Course today at 12.30 p.m. Good luck, girls. Seniors, there's, a, there's an extension for senior portraits. The new and final deadline is Monday, November 28th, which means you'll have about a month to ensure you're featured in this year's yearbook, including Thanksgiving break. See the website, see the yearbook website, the Senior Class Google Classroom, or Mr. Hadegee's newsletter for more info. Now let's pass it on to Tad and William for wins and fails. Yo, what's up, Wolfpack? I'm Tad Chill. And I'm William Moore, and we're presenting this week's wins and fails. The first fail goes to Hans Neiman, who's suing Magnus Carlsen for $100 million. This is all happening because Magnus May claims that Hans cheated in order to beat him in a chess game. Whether it's true or not doesn't matter because a lot of people do believe that he did cheat, which has ruined his reputation and credibility. Now, I still think $100 million is an outrageous number, and this will probably never go to court. But even if it does, Hans is still going to lose because it's a very hard to prove defamation in American courts. I'm giving a win to every single American because the McRib is back on October 31st. It may, be the la it may be the last time because McDonald's says that it's on its farewell tour, but they haven't elab elaborated this, and it could be a big marketing scheme. This isn't the first time the McRib was on its farewell tour. It also was on its farewell tour in 2005, as well as 2006 and 2007, and many speculate McDonald's is strategically selling the McRib when bulk pork prices are low. So make sure you savor that yum yum meaty goodness one last time, unless they bring it back again. Next, I'm giving a major win to my PlayStation Bros because the UK is planning on blocking Microsoft's $87.7 billion deal to buy Activision Blizzard. The reason the UK is doing this is because they believe it would give Microsoft a monopoly on the video game market, which is a very true statement as many of Activision's games are the best on the market, especially Call of Duty, which is the best selling game every year in the UK. The only way I see this changing is if Microsoft promises not to put Call of Duty on Game Pass which sucks for Xbox players, but honestly, they deserve it. <laughs> Next, we have a win to us Zoomers because our attention spans have gotten faster once again. Facebook's new research says people are spending an average of only 1.7 seconds on a, on a piece of content compared to 3 seconds, which was the average before. No wonder why they call us Zoomers. This is probably due to the rise of TikTok, Instagram Reels, and YouTube Shorts, which are all forms of short content which have gotten extremely popular over the past couple of years. Anyways, can't wait to see how long those numbers get next year. Well, unfortunately, those were all our wins and fails this week. Back, Back to, to the, the anchors. anchors. Thanks, guys. The Visual and Performing Arts Specialized Program is currently accepting applications for all students. If you are a graduating senior, you must apply no later than the end of Term 2. You must earn at least 40 VAPA credits by the end of senior year in order to complete the program and earn your PIN for graduation. Apply today or check in with one of the Visual Performing Arts teachers to find out if you're on the list. Last week was back to school night. Let's see how that went. So um, today's motivational quote was be the change that you want with the motivation quote. And then the tarea, I always highlight it so they don't forget. So every morning they have to write the homework. This quiz also tends to be the most challenging one just because they haven't had math three before. Depends on what their comfort level of math two was. Our, our pinch pot. And um, we always start off with this project. It's, it's really the most basic way that you can make something out of clay. Um, and so it's a really good place for beginners. To miss the quiz, they have to come to me to find a time to make it up. I have 96 students this term, so it's kind of hard to chase all the kids who are absent on quiz day. So if Elliot happens to miss a quiz and he goes in at a zero, just have him come talk to me. We'll figure out time. We all hope to have a good term this year. Just a reminder, 
Just a reminder that Fall Festival is this Thursday from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. in the quad. ASB is planning for music, games, food, and a haunted house, and activities for everyone. Also, costumes can be worn, but face, ma but face coverings, masks, and no bringing fake weapons. Well, we gotta take off. I'm Kylie Regalista, and remember the strength of the pack is the wolf. And I'm Dion Gandy, and the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National, National Greasy, Greasy Foods Day! Day.